Hello everyone, today I will introduce our latest MOI streaming server, Smart MOI. We have two versions, this is a smaller one, this. This is a bigger one, this one. The difference is this support two DB tuner card, this one support one DB tuner card. Okay, let us open the box. When you open the case, please check the box inside. It should have come in with the power supply and the two rear and the server. And the bigger one. Big one have the power cable coming with the box and the two rear. Okay. This is the server. This is the two server. You can compare the size, the smaller one and the bigger one. Is a little difference, and the smaller one is using this kind of power supply, support one DB tuner card. This is the bigger one, support two DB tuner card. Use this kind of power supply, and uh, and for this uh, for the uh, single and the dual version, you can use in any DB tuner card from TBS. You can choose any card as you want. You can choose the DBC or DBS or DBT2, any um, card you uh, or OK. This is smart box. Uh, uh, you can we can run in uh, a lot of systems inside. Uh, you can use in uh, Linux system and our Kylon system inside. Uh, for the smaller one, we were in for instance our. Kylon system inside, you can say it detected our octet DBS S2 S2X card inside, and we uh, look at the for transponder. You can check the status. You see, it's running everywhere about uh, for transponder. Uh, with Kylon, it is much easier to manage the string and the world changers. Uh, uh, address or something, and the status, and from this page you can you can easy management the DB to the card. Besides this, we support IP string input too. You can find from here HTTP or multicast or something. So with the, the very smaller. Smart streaming box, you can do a lot of things. And the size is very smaller than our other MOI series like AMD, MOI5. So this is uh, flexible for few tuner usage. If you want to use it with more tuner, you can choose this big one. It supports the two DB tuner card inside. You can receive more transponders and receive more channels. Okay, let uh, me introduce the original system coming with the MOI Smart uh, Box. This is our original Linux system inside. You can open the web page with 8081 port number. Okay, the most uh, web UI is like our MOI MD or MOI 5, not a big difference. Let us check the network setting. You can set uh, you, you using DHCP or static to get the IP. Uh, or set a fixed IP from here. Tuning setting, you can set up the, with TV hand or TV last to let uh, it run when power on the server. TV last uh, web scan page. Here you can use the web page to scan with the TV last application. Let us choose one of the tuner to scan. This is OctaCloud inside. We can use this uh, tuner. 
this is the frequency value, and this is symbol rate polarization. Uh, just input the right parameter after input the parameter S scan. Uh, wait about a few seconds. Here it will show the scan. Okay, you can still find the channel list of the this transponder. And uh, you can choose the one you want to uh, use it with the UDP or RTP. If you choose here, it will output with UTP. If uncheck, it will output with RTP. You can choose this one, the streaming, and click here, then it will stream these channels with this address. And then you can use the VRC or other player to check the output stream. Here you can set up the login username and password, and update page. Okay, this is all. If you have any question or any advice with this new streaming server, you can send an email to our support. Thank you.